Hey everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5 Brave New World on DT. So, I actually decided to get the extra happiness from Order right now. That will delay rationalism a little bit, but it's okay. I already got secularism and extra happiness is actually more important right now. I am going to need that extra happiness very, very soon. So, I think I'm going to declare war on England fairly soon. I want to try getting Pachacuti into the war. I'm just waiting for my musket men to arrive here. My plan right now is to just let England throw their units at Hastings until I get rid of most of them and then I'm going to push for London. I might actually wait until I get dynamite and upgrade my cannons to artillery. I'm not too far off, especially since I'm about to get another great scientist. Yeah, two turns remaining. So let's see, I could get rifling and then I could go straight for dynamite. Maybe, we'll see. But for now my plan is to just let England suicide their units on Hastings. So, let's have a chat with Pachakuti. I don't think there's any point waiting. So let's declare war. 10 turns? Alright, I'm going to wait 10 turns then. He wants 10 turns to prepare. I'm okay with that. That will let me finish rifling, upgrade my musketman to rifleman. Maybe get another one. I got one queued up in Nimrod after the armory, like so. So yeah, I will actually get second melee unit. No, I'm not going to give you open borders to give you a tourism boost. Gandhi is actually the tourism leader in this game right now, so I definitely don't want to give him open borders. Especially since he didn't pick an ideology yet, so I have no idea what he's going to go for. Probably freedom. I mean, in most of my games Gandhi usually goes for freedom. Which means I really don't want open borders with him. So, I got 10 turns to prepare. Oh, that actually means I will finish walls. That's helpful. And there's the great scientist. So, rifling is done. Now I can upgrade my musket man. How much is that going to cost me? 230 gold, wow. Yeah, that's a bit pricey, but I need riflemen. Especially since England already has them. And nice, I can steal navigation. Awesome. So I should be on par technologically right now. Let's have a look at the ranking. Yes, I actually am. 46 technologies, same as Romans. And everyone else is behind. And I'm about to finish fertilizer in four turns. So I'm totally going to be the technology leader in this game, especially since Romans have a lot of cities. So their technology cost is through the roof right now. It's 50% more expensive than mine right now because I have 6 cities and I have 16 so that's extra 5% per city so I will definitely pass them oh he saw I'm stealing from him huh I think I'll just tell him my agents go where they please he's too far away from me to be a threat so I don't really care about his opinion to be honest he's behind Pachakuti and Gandhi so even if he declares war on me, there's nothing he can do, really. Right. Fertilizer will give me some extra growth in my cities. I'm still tempted to build a mine here, but I really don't want to lose the food. And I will lose two food on this tile if I build a mine. Maybe I'll do it later when this city grows a little bit more. That's a possibility. Let's see, I think I need to reassign one tile, yes. And Nimrod grow as well, or did it? Yeah, it did. But I think I'll keep this worker on the iron, just to speed up the rifleman. Yeah, this will speed up the rifleman by three turns. And Nimrod is already on 13 population. I'm okay with that. I don't really have any good tiles with food. Yeah, I need to build a farm over here. Right, I'm keeping it like that then. Public school will, will be done in 6 turns, so I might build a few more units in my capital once I'm done with public school, or I'll build a factory. Yeah, I didn't actually build a single factory yet. I don't have zero coal right now, but I can get coal easily if I want to. I can buy this single tile. I'm waiting for my borders to grow towards it, because I won't have to buy two tiles right now. I can only buy the coal from this city. 
And that would be kind of expensive. Vancouver declared war on China, what? Oh, they are at war with Romans, right. Can I sign peace with them yet? No, four more turns. Alright then, whatever. Walls are almost done. That's actually good for me, because I want to lure England towards Hastings. So having walls will definitely be nice. And I think I'm going to pass Romans now, when I finish Fertilizer. Let's see. Yeah, whatever. I don't care about your opinion. So, question is... Do I take Berlin from England? Not in this war, but do I want to take Berlin from England at all? I think I might. I have no idea if there are any wonders in Berlin. I know there are wonders in London. She has quite a few. So I bet most of them are in London. Monument is done. Yeah, library next. So... Not much to do right now. How are my spies doing? Can't do anything with them yet. Oh yeah, no one is actually allied with Kabul or Melbourne. So I need to wait 10 turns to get allied with them. Alright then. I can still get some technology from Rome. Let's have a look at the technology ranking right now. Yeah, 47 technologies. If he has, if he has archaeology, that would be great. Because I don't really want to waste time researching archaeology myself. It would be best stealing it. But I have no idea if he has it or not. Yeah, he's denouncing me. I don't care. I don't see any archaeologists in Rome. But he might have it. One of my deals and then yeah, I won't be able to sell iron. Especially when he's denouncing me. Someone else might be willing to buy it. Let's see, what about Gandhi? I had you like iron, no? Whatever. Pachakuti? Yeah, I knew deals like this won't last long. Oh yeah, he's actually willing to buy it. For coal? I might actually accept. Yeah, I think I'm going to accept this deal. And open borders too. Because I have zero coal right now. Vancouver had coal, I think, but I need like 10 turns to get allied with it again. And I want to get started on the factory in Asur. Once I'm done with the public school. I lost track of time, but 10 turns should be up sometime soon. He's supposed to declare war on England after 10 turns. Whatever, dude. That should be available in deal history. Or not? Yeah, it's not here. So I have no idea if that's going to be soon or not. But it's been quite a few turns. Right, great artist. I don't have any extra museums right now, so I'm going to use this guy for a golden age. I see no reason to just hoard him. And golden age is always nice. That's 10 turns of golden age. Another trade depot is done. Now I need to improve some of these tiles up here. Public school is almost done. So now I can queue up a factory. I will grab a hydro plant as well, maybe, but I want factory first. Anything else? Oh, I lost Monaco. Okay, I could bribe them. Oh, they aren't allied to anyone now. I think I'm going to bribe them. I kind of want to keep them because it's a cultured city. And I'm getting pearls from them. I could bribe... Kabul or Melbourne. But I don't want to waste my money. Actually, no. I don't have enough money to bribe Kabul. But I could bribe Melbourne if I wanted to. I'd rather wait for my spy, to be honest. Although, 8 turns. Where's Melbourne, anyway? Oh, yeah, it's right here. Okay. Huh. So, maybe... What kind of city is it? Mercantile. Well, that is actually useful, I guess. Alright, let's grab Melbourne. I'll keep my spy in here anyway, because... Yeah, I'm at 64 out of 60 only. So I will need extra influence from that spy, regardless of spending 250 gold on this. Now she wants peace. 
Maybe she'll pay some? No? Give me your luxuries, no? She's not willing to pay, but I'm going to accept. So, where's that war? Come on. My rifleman will be done soon, the second one. Pachakudi should be declaring war by now. Or he'll do it soon. 51 turns for public school? Yeah, that's a bit too long. Hmm. But if I want to grow the city, I need to do that. And I need to assign specialists to Musicians Guild. I might wait with that until the city grows to 16. I mean, I don't have any opera houses right now anyway. Hmm. Yeah, I need to build an opera house somewhere. Maybe in Nimrod? That means I need amphitheaters first. Is Nimrod like my second top production city? No, it's not. Right, oh, I already queued up amphitheater here. But I'm going to wait a few turns. With to these two specialists. There's no rush to get great musicians just yet. Oh, there we go, now he's ready to declare war. Alright, let's get started then, this should be fun. I'm going to turn off quick combat in single player. Just to see what's going on. I'm keeping quick movement on. But I want to see what's attacking what. Oh, I might be able to pillage the caravan, that would be awesome. That should be something like 200 gold, just from that caravan. What is Quebec City attacking? Other city-state? I think so. Oh, am I at war? What was going on here? Oh, that was an English Gatling gun, okay. I totally didn't see that. Interesting. Right. This will be fun. So, if I want to finish the caravan, I need to get rid of the Gatling gun. Actually, no, I don't. I can do it right now. So that's... how much gold is that? 100 gold. Yeah, I'm okay with that. And I can move out of York's bombardment range. So that was definitely worth it. Right. And yes, I can see that city to the northwest. And I don't really care about it, to be honest. So... I can attack that Gatling gun with my cannon, so let's do it. I have no idea how many units she has, so I want to be careful. I definitely won't rush. I'm going to keep all of my units in one big blob. Like so. And he's going down. This will give me some really nice experience as well. I should be able to get some good upgrades. Yeah, this Gatling gun already has accuracy 3, so I should be able to get plus 1 range on this one. Right, nothing to see here. How are my spies doing? Six more turns. I'm a bit paranoid that England is going to get allied with Kabul. Which means Kabul would attack Nineveh. They are a bit too close. And I don't even have city walls in Nineveh. And they have some cannons. So I could actually lose that city to Kabul if Kabul declare war on me. But hopefully that won't happen. England definitely has enough gold to do that though. She had 10,000 gold last I checked. That's a lot of money. So this should be interesting. Yeah, she's coming already. So I need to be careful. I don't want to lose any of these units. Which means I'll have to back up a bit, I think. Yeah, I'm going to back up with the cannon. I'm going to move the cannon to this tile with the iron and then block the way with Gatling guns. Get rid of that Gatling gun. I think it's going down. Nope, not yet. But it will go down. Alright. One of my deals ended. I'm not even going to try getting a new one. Especially since he's denouncing me now. Okay, so I could attack these units with my cannon, but do I want to? It's a bit risky, to be honest. Hmm. I don't know about this. I can't attack anything with this cannon either. Alright, I'm going to back up. And do something like this. Attack the rifleman and block the way with my Gatling gun. 
I'm not going to attack the Lancer. I could pillage their luxuries. Yeah, maybe. I can actually check her happiness. England. Zero overall. Okay. So if I pillage her luxuries, I might be able to get her into the negatives. Which would definitely help a lot. So I'm going to pillage some of her luxuries. Right. I need to move closer with the cannons. So... I need to be careful what exactly I'm doing. But I should be able to move here and... She won't be able to attack me because of zone of control. Okay, this looks fine. I can actually move this cannon here. Alright, that looks fine. And the general. I don't want to lose any of these units. They are all quite valuable. I will get another rifleman in three turns. So the plan right now is to let her just suicide her units on Hastings and on my army. And once she loses most of them, then I can push for London. I might wait for artillery. I will get dynamite like in the next 10-15 turns or so. And now I can pillage the copper. Unless I lose my rifleman, but hopefully not. Nope, I won't. Which will restore 25 health, obviously. She's pillaging my farm too, but that's fine. I have quite a few excess farms that I'm not working. So it doesn't really matter too much. And the closest luxury is the citrus over here. So I should be okay. Just need to be careful not to lose that rifleman. Yeah, I think it's Quebec City fighting some other city-state? What unit is this? I have no idea what unit that was. I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, that was English ship. Ship of the line. So much for that Gatling gun. Alright. So, pillage this. That will restore 25 health. I should get rid of that Lancer. Before he pillages too much. So now I can hit that Lancer with my cannon. Like so. And with the Gatling gun. That might not be enough though. Yeah, actually yeah, it will be enough, I think. Is he dead? No, he's not. That's a bit annoying. He's down to like one health. Very irritating. Right. I'll just chop down the forest to speed up the library. And send that other worker to help. Yeah, that Lancer is down to literally two health. And I can't finish him off. Yeah. Oh well. Let's see. Happiness. Zero still. Okay. But she's getting minus 13 for public opinion. If I pillage the marble, that might bring her into the negatives. Then she'll get combat penalty. That's why I want to pillage the luxuries. To make her take the combat penalty. This guy is going down. I think I'll just fortify this rifleman. I don't want to lose more health on him. But so far I'm doing well. I shouldn't lose any of these units. Right, I'm going to fortify this rifleman. Is this a heal? No, it's not. No, yeah, it is. Okay. So that's it on this turn. Did any of my cities grow? I think Asur did. Yeah, it did. So, change it. Anything else to change? I could get more food by working these farms, but then I lose gold and science. So I think I'll pass. Anything else? Nope, I don't think so. Nineveh will grow in four turns. This city grow. And yeah, I'm building a farm on that tile. Alright, looks good. So once I take London, I should get quite a few World Wonders. I don't think any of them will be particularly useful. At least from the list that I saw. But hey, it's always useful. It will give me some extra culture, if nothing else. Speaking of culture, I need 9 more turns for another policy. I might go for level 2 order policy, but I still want to finish rationalism. 
or at least get 25% faster grade scientist generation and extra science from universities I want to get this though I'm not too worried about scientific revolution because I don't plan signing research agreements anyway I think I just got a promotion on that rifleman Is Pachakuti actually attacking her or what? I hope he is Yeah, they are fighting over here from what I can see, so that's good And Zanzibar is attacking this Gatling gun Right Oh yeah, I can finish off that Lancer, that's nice I still want to pillage the quarry That's a grassland, so I should be able to move on that tile And then pillage it on the same turn But I need to get rid of these units because of zone of control But so far it's going well I thought she'll have more units to be honest Oh, this was a rifleman with zero upgrades So he didn't even have shock one or drill one Alright So let's see, I'm going to finish off that lancer first I can do that with the cannon Huh, <laughs> no I'm trying to figure out how I can pillage the marble on this turn I would have to get rid of that rifleman So I don't think that's going to happen on this turn But I can move in like this Flank it I want to protect my rifleman right now And I can finish off that lancer as well Yeah, I definitely can Down he goes So she's going to lose at least two units on this turn I think I'll take experience for my cannon To at least get volley on this cannon Then I can steal her worker I think that was my worker actually, I'm not sure So I can move to the marble tile I will take some damage from York, but I will be able to pillage it on the next turn So that's the plan And my great general Yeah, he's not covering the Gatling gun right now So he needs to move in a little bit closer And I should be safe with this cannon if I move here Actually, no, she could attack me So, here Right 45 And I'm actually going to finish this part here And continue in the next one So, thanks for watching And I'll see you next time